G'day, welcome to the Backpack Podcast. We're back. My name's Jamie Kenner and to my left this week in order of member of the panel who's most likely to tag on his Mikey. It's my little brother, Jay. How are you, boy? Yes, Jake. Of course, I'm going to tag on my Mikey. You know, not in the free tram section, but once you're leaving that, it's very important to make sure you tag on. And to my right, coming in at 6 foot 1, as he does each and every week, it's the baby brother of the pack. Who we call Junior Boy? Junior Boy, how are you? No smart riders. No Michaels. No nothing. <laughs> no I'm a free ranger. Walk in with the crowd. Don't scan on. Ever? Never. Never. Even like a bus, if Wait. it's just you getting on. Yeah, if you never scan on, you're saving three dollars per year. So you get on the same bus, I just don't. You don't get okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, interesting. All right, we got heaps to unpack on this week's episode of the MacPag Podcast. Smart Rider chat off the top, and I went to Melbourne. Plus, you went to listen out, Junior Boy, and we chat about Karen's diner. It's a massive ep, so let's get into it. Boys, boys, boys! How are we all? We all well. Fan freaking tastic. We're good, and it's good to have you back in Perth, Jay. Yeah, yes. brother. Huge weekend. Um, yes. Fortunate enough for the plans to actually come through. Went over to Melbourne. Finally, it's been to Melbourne. Been I've to been to the I've big been dance. I've never been to a grand final in Melbourne before, so that was quite. That's a two two grand finals in a row you've been to, mate. Yeah, that's a good point. I was yeah. fortunate yeah. enough to go to the Perth one last year. Um, and how was it? Which was better? Oh, Melbourne by a mile. Thanks. Uh, it didn't take long f- to work that out either. I said to mum, um, once we f- fucking sat, we literally just sat down. Um, first this is, tier? This is, yeah, first tier. It just p- nice. a little Ooh. bit behind the point post. How much do you pay for those? Oh, uh, right. A, a gentleman never tells. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Magician never reveals. <laughs> um, no, it was a cashier. We got paid by the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. part of the main pack podcast. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it was good. Yeah, but when we first sat down, there was like probably two hours out from the game thereabouts. Yeah. And I just How was Robbie? I just turned to my mum. I was like, this is so much better than last year already and the oh ball shit. hasn't even bounced. Uh-huh. Um, I've come back with a bit of a cold though. So just keep in mind. Let's hope that it's yep. cold. I might be sounding a little bit crook. No no COVIDs. That's a promise. Hell I'll yeah. my little test. Thank but no, Melbourne much. was good. Um, we got over. I don't, I don't love flying. It's the first time I've been flying in a few years as well, obviously since the pandemic. Yep. That plagued the Nash. Um and we got in. Oh, it took us fucking ages. Like we were meant to detour and go to Sydney. Yep. So that was so always you were the plan. To Sydney and then fly and to then Sydney and then change up and then come via Sydney to Melbourne. Yep. Apparently it was like a couple hundred bucks cheaper. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it just really wasn't worth it, I don't reckon, in the end. Because <laughs> what happened? Oh man. we our plane in Perth got delayed by like an hour and a half from memory. Oh. Yeah. And then we got to Sydney and the they can't leave because we only had a 30 minute turnaround between Sydney. The and are you on landing the same plane or did you have to switch? No, we had to get off the plane, but they don't leave until like everyone that had come from Melbourne or wherever they're coming from is going to be at the airport. Right. Yeah. Because we got pushed back. Let's say we got pushed back 90 minutes. Yep. The plane leaving from Sydney to Melbourne was only a 30 minute window once we were expected to land initially. And so now once there's a 90 minute a half, delay, like yeah, we, we were passing each other in the air essentially if we were to actually. Continue on that schedule. So the Melbourne flight was waiting for you? Yeah, well, the Melbourne flight was also delayed by like an hour. Uh, so a trip that was meant to be just from Perth to Sydney to Melbourne, I think it was meant to take about six hours, seven hours. Yeah, I knew it was going to We be. were, uh, it took us best part of 12 hours. I think, yeah. it, was, I think it was 11 hours That's in an airport. Airports have been f- fucked lately. I think... Um, they cancelled 80 flights out of Sydney on the Friday. Yeah, so Kira was meant to be going... 80. Six. On Thursday, yeah, eighty. Before we'd even got, we wouldn't even got that many. Before we'd even got into the airport, they're like, some chick over the over the wireless goes, yeah, you're we've done. Just, we've cancelled our eighty flights. Yeah, when coming out of Sydney this morning, and Mum's like, oh, that's that's mint. That's what we want to hear. When Kira was meant to go to Sydney, um, I like dropped her at the airport in like in the afternoon, and then like an hour later, she was like, the flight's been cancelled. Like, uh, oh yeah, the flight's at nine thirty tomorrow morning instead. Yeah, what do you have to do? Uh, so I've just picked her up, but obviously I think they put up people who are actually on holiday and stuff. They put them up in. The that was my fear was that we were just gonna have to sleep but under a chair. At the I airport. was like, oh, this is because like it's been happening all over with um, flights and stuff. I was like, oh, this is just like they knew it was gonna happen. And that was like screwed everyone over. But apparently, what happened was a person who was on the plane. Um, so like the plane landed in Perth and then it was going back to Sydney. Apparently, the person who was on it when it landed in Perth, there was a person who was like. Drinking and smoking on 
the plane. Yeah, right. And like causing like chaos. And I didn't know you jumped on a plane recently. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you there, right? Uh, and they had to wait for the Australian Federal Police to get there to like arrest this I man. Thought, my well, was there also a thing I heard, Joe, that there's like a curfew in Sydney? Yeah, yeah. So in Sydney, because the um, airport's so close to like residential areas. Which it um, also is. It here. actually is. <laughs> you're on water. No, I think it's like. No, it's well far away from here. Oh. But you're on water. We were on water, 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 and then we just landed. It was like, wow, all right. The airport's just shit. like in the middle of a lake or some shit. Yeah. And so because it's so close to like residential, it um they can't. I, 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 it's either like 10 or 11, but they can't land planes after that. Yeah, right. Which I is why they were like, we don't think we'll make the flight because it's not like, oh, we can just land a bit later. It's like, yeah, we're no. going to get there and they'll be like, leave that's so cringe so after i think it's a bit cringe yeah <laughs> after like an 11 hour 12 hour day in between leaving home to entering melbourne oh yeah the, all you really want to do is perch up with a with a nice cold beer or even just a water at this point it's something to just chill okay. out um <laughs> and just watch a bit of tv on the couch and i planned to do that and i did got down sat down on the on the couch and mum's sort of sorting out her suitcase and shit. And yeah. I just sat down and I was like, what is that? Because the hotel smelt like um, cleaning products, like oh really yeah. thick cleaning products. But like you're walking... You're giving it a good one, so... Oh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> oath. And like, fair enough, with which, COVID Which hotel are you saying? Uh, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> um, and then we're walking through the hotel. And I was just... It was quite a potent... <laughs> is it yeah. ammonia? Yeah, ammonia. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like bleach. Um, and then I sat down on the couch and I was like, that's ammonia mixed with something. That's not just straight up ammonia. That is urine. That is 100% oh. piss. <laughs> and I couldn't tell if I would just like had been in the air for so long or if the ammonia had knocked me out to the point where I couldn't work out what was going on. And then I <laughs> sort of stood, I sort of stood up and went for a bit of a walk around the, the little room that we were in. And then I just turned to mum and was like, it does smell in here, hey? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it does a bit. We went down to the convenience store. It was closed, and then we came back. <laughs> then we came convenient. Back, hell yeah, how convenient. <laughs> then we came back into the room, and Mum's like, "Yeah, no, definitely pong way more in here than it does outside." And I was like, "Yeah." I, at this point, I hadn't mentioned to her that I could smell piss because I, I you know, we're all feeling good about the <laughs> trip and yeah. all. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, "I reckon part of this room smells like urine," and I reckon it's exactly where I just sat. And she's like, "What do you mean?" And so I made her sit down. <laughs> where you I made her <laughs> face down. <laughs> the where I was at. And I was just like, just sit down on this like one cube of the couch. Yeah. And just let me know if anything sort of permeates between your nostrils. And she sits down and just goes, yeah, that's piss. That's 100%. <laughs> oh. That is 100% piss. So we quickly packed up the TV and then I rang downstairs. And the dude at the reception... He was trying to do banter with us when we first got there, <laughs> <laughs> which is which is nice. Like I get the effort, but he had quite a strong Indian accent, and between Mum and I, neither of us could work out what he was saying. So he was just dropping like these funny lines. Well, he found them fucking funny because he was laughing, and then poor <laughs> yeah. me and Mum were just like sort of smiling and looking at each other, going, "I don't know what he's just said," but yeah, right. We'll just chuckle along with him. <laughs> yeah. It was mint, and then uh, he saw us go out. To the convenience store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think previously he said, like, why don't you go? You guys go out across to the bar after this? Hey. Yeah. It's like 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Your mom. Yeah, just yeah. me and oh mom yeah. just looking absolutely disheveled <laughs> after just being on a plane for 12 hours. And then we walked to the convenience store and he goes, ah, they're going to the pub or something along yeah. those lines. And I was like, yeah, no, nah, that's not Classic. happening. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm on the phone to him and I've just gone, hey, mate, um, it's the. Oh, the only bloke that you would have probably seen tonight. Yeah, I'm just the pub up, guy. I'm just upstairs. Um, we're in this room. They just got a bit of a complaint. There seems to be quite a bad smell of urine, and there was a genuine pause on the phone for about three seconds. And I thought I'd he'd either hung up, <laughs> or he I don't know what had gone on. He'd and been he, caught. He just didn't say anything, and he just goes, "I'm sorry, what?" Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Like urine, like wee wee," and he's just like. Oh my oh that <laughs> I like don't think that's the case and I was like no it, like it definitely is like I know what piss smells like and it's yeah. definitely piss and he goes all right well there's not really any other rooms <laughs> that you can go into because me and mum had two single beds mm. yeah I didn't really want to be sharing a fucking queen bed with one another, right? <laughs> yeah. And that was basically what he was <laughs> <laughs> basically what he was back to the good old putting <laughs> on the agenda and then he was just like okay well if you don't mind do you, like will you be alright to sleep 
there tonight. And I was like, yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to sleep on the piss. I'll, just <laughs> I'll go sleep in the bedroom, which is a different room. There's no piss. Oh, Mind okay. you, there was Off a lot of, there was a lot of investigating the bedroom. Like there was a lot of, <laughs> yeah. a lot of sniffing sheets and yeah, stuff yeah. just to make gotta sure. Be sure, gotta be sure. Um, because if you're pissing in a public place, like on the couch. Yeah. Surely to God. You're doing it in the private. Yeah. It, it is interesting because like. I don't know what nuggets you might find, literally. <laughs> ra- random pee. You normally you'd think like, oh, it's probably like an animal or something. But it's a hotel. So I'm assuming no pets allowed. No. Someone, someone's let loose. Yeah, yeah, someone's would you just ra- had would you a rather massive <laughs> fucking Wednesday. Would you, rather, would you rather sit in like pee <laughs> from like a dog or a cat, like a pet or a person? Which one do you reckon is the worst? Wow. Just have a think about so. have a think about that at home. I'm gonna say I'd pr- much prefer to sit in. I'm gonna go person. Uh, I think I'm gonna go dog. I reckon dog, yeah, because the dog is like person oh, piss. You rascal! But a person is like, <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, person piss is not pretty. But anyway, Melbourne was good. Um, a lot of tramps. Yep. In Melbourne, a lot of trams. A lot of trams. Yes. <laughs> a lot of yeah. trams. The trams are really good. I think we should install trams in WA. Yeah, they're cool. Oh, they're yeah. actually cool. And they're very like, some are really old fashioned, but they're some like real new age they're ones. They're very effective them. as well. They take you everywhere. And at some point they're just like, you've left the free area. Yep. Scan your Mikey. And you're like, I don't, Mikey's still in Perth. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know who Mikey is. Is Mikey like a smart rider? It's like a Mikey, yeah, it's like a smart, smart rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is it? No, I've Mike never seen anyone scan. The only Mikey? time I only the no only one in Melbourne has a mic. The only <laughs> time, the only <laughs> time I saw someone scan, and it was purely out of fear. We were. This is like the fifth or sixth day. I was sick by this point. I really wasn't feeling flash. <laughs> and we're sitting on the bus, and these two, this pair of like trans Perth officers, essentially, yeah, yeah. get on they, with their high vis. They right? call it trans Perth over there, and they. <laughs> Trams Melbourne, I think. And then they jumped on, right? Yeah. And there was one guy wearing like a business shirt. He looked probably a bit younger than me. Yeah. And he's in the free tram area. And I know he is because like there's That's a pretty... Yeah, it's like a the pretty middle of the city. Yeah. Free tram, so. And he got on with these two high visas and he scanned his Mikey. And I was like, you fucking peasant, man. You're, <laughs> <just> <laughs> he's like sweating. you're the weakest <laughs> dog. And he got off at the next stop and scanned it off uh-huh. again. I was like, mate, what are you well, doing? Maybe, maybe it's, it's like, like a 400 meter walk and you just pay like three bucks for it, you bitch. Maybe it's like one of those things where they always say like, if you're committing a crime, don't commit another crime. So like, say if you're like, you know, in the mob and you've got like a dead body in the yeah, backyard, yeah, you're, like, yeah. you're not speeding. Yeah, so maybe, maybe he's up to some more nefarious Well, there was a lot of like <laughs> signage about wearing masks on trams. Nah, no one's wearing trans. masks. Including the two trans Melbourne people got on the bus. They weren't wearing masks. They and I was sick as all fuck. Like I thought I had COVID <laughs> at that yeah. point. I was like, anyone should be wearing this mask. It's the king here. Um, <laughs> they they got drivers. Trans or they driverless? No, they're drivers. They oh, the funniest care. thing we saw. The funniest thing we ever saw. We we're getting onto a tram. It's like ten thirty at night. It's raining, right? Yep. The tram pulls up. And some dude jumps off the where you wait for the tram onto the tracks and stands behind the tram oh. and just starts fucking graffitiing the thing. Oh, oh. Just, it, no, he wasn't Banksy. late. It was in broad daylight. <laughs> That's right. It was like in the afternoon. It was like three p.m. Frick yeah! Oh, the story's starts, changing, buddy. Just starts, <laughs> no, because I remember we got on the tram. Mum goes broad daylight. We're just graffitiing the trams, and he just went to town on the back of this tram. You should have seen the people who weren't getting on the tram but were just watching him. I've never seen such like. Was he covering? Sh- was he wearing a mask? Shock and he was. Oh, he was wearing like a balaclava. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was wearing. Really cool. La- uh, last time I w- uh, was with in the presence of a tram was when I was in Melbourne. I was <laughs> shooting. I need that. I was <laughs> grow up. <laughs> I was shooting the um the Melbourne the, the novel Melbourne Melbourne documentary. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Coming out this summer, <laughs> and um I was I was uh, what did I do? I think I, ne- <laughs> I needed another SD card because I got that much footage. Oh. So I stopped off at Officeworks. I had a solo mission. Got out of our Uber after we played golf. Got out of our Uber and just went to Officeworks. And then I was like, I'll get the train tram back. Or like, I was just walking across the road, I think. And I was like, oh, this is a good opportunity for me to get some... <laughs> to do some graffiti on the back of this yeah. <laughs> For me to get some cool Melbourne B-roll for the film. And then I was like, oh, I'm standing on this uh, part of an intersection. I'm like, It's like a big intersection, like... Uh, like 16 laner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and there's um, like tons of trams. Yeah, middle of the CBD. And then like one of the trams like turns is like it's coming in. And I like see that it's going to do this. And I'm like, oh, and I'm standing like on the part that it's going to turn into. Yeah. I was like, this you is going to this gonna this gonna be, be the money shot. Yeah, yeah. this is going to be the epic money shot. So I get my camera ready, turn down the aperture. 
And then it's the <laughs> it's coming. You get it? You go to film school. And I'm like, look at aperture. I'm looking at the. <laughs> I'm looking. <laughs> Let's go in the same. <laughs> I'm looking at the display on the on the camera, obviously, because you know, I get my eye in for the shot. Yeah. And then um, it starts coming around, coming around the bend. Mm. And I'm watching it, watching it, watching it. Like, fuck, this is so cool. And I look up just as it's about about to come, like just about to get me. And I was like. Oh fuck! I'm gonna get <laughs> it, <laughs> and I didn't move because, like, you know, when you're like that close to something that you're like, and just like, take, like, just like, you just suck up, brace, just, like, yeah. just yeah. bracing. I, and I was just like braced, and I was like, holy shit! It was legit like an inch away from me. Wait, but stop. I got the money shot. <laughs> Wait, did it stop? Or no, no, it went past. It ain't stopping. And I was like right next to the like, obviously the driver went straight past me, <laughs> and I was like look up, and the driver's just like, <gasps> <laughs> you see, see part of the money shot. Oh, I hope here? so. I, oh. I haven't looked back at the footage That's yet. That's incredible. Like, we love that. But the actual event was really good. Uh, went to the dinner before <laughs> the grand final. That was actually really good fun. We were sitting on table two, so. Must be very nice. Must be um, who, who gets invited to these dinners? It's part of the package you bought. You get the oh, dinner and the, very nice. the, the dinner Mac and the show. The Mac package. The Mac package. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, the Mac package comes out late. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and it costs tapes. <laughs> and, <then laughs> and it's wait, so huge as well. The package <laughs> is huge. What happened with the room? Oh, no, we got changed. Yeah. Oh, so okay. he just, the next morning we came downstairs and mum, there was a full like bunch. There was probably about five, six people looking to check in. Yeah. Yeah. And mum's walked in and we waited and waited and waited. Some chick got dropped to the wrong hotel. There's a hotel around the corner that's similar. Yeah. And this chick got dropped off at this hotel. And she tried to check in. And it's obviously the wrong hotel, yep. right? Classic. And the girl's like, oh, I'm coming for this hotel. And he goes, yeah, that's like it's not here. just over the road. And the chick got so fired up with the girl who was working at the <laughs> at right, the, at the hotel. She goes, well, the Uber dropped me here. And she goes, well, I don't really... Like, no, no, it's more likely you. to be wrong. The, the, <laughs> Uber, the Uber was wrong, and she was saying it like, "Well, the Uber was wrong." Like to the person, as though the hotel owned the Uber, and it was, <laughs> was like a contract. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I'm at the wrong place. Mum <laughs> just jumped in and goes, "It's like 400 meters down the road. Like I can, I'll, yeah. we'll walk you there if you need." Mum was lying. It was the other way. <laughs> and then we get up, and there's still a crowd of people, and they were all like, they weren't disgruntled. They're all about to check in, and then Mum's just gone with. Hi, um, we're just wondering if we could um <laughs> change our rooms. Um, Jake called last night about <laughs> the room that smelt like urine, <laughs> and then I've never seen a woman behind the counter move quicker in my life. She goes, "Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, we'll just deal with that now." I like, try to speak over the word yeah. urine so that no one could it's hear. Like it. Piss everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she takes your keys, gives it to the person next yeah, in line. That's <laughs> what I was fearful of. But anyway, she gave us two free keys. I did. I was rang Taylor on the night and was. It's like what? Because th- after I'd spoken to the guy who worked there, I was fearful that he was going to come up and investigate and be like, "It doesn't smell like piss." I don't know what you're talking about. So part of me thought, "I now Should need I to piss on. <laughs> <laughs> I need to piss on the couch." Exactly yeah. what the last guy the did couch <laughs> as well, just to make sure that the smell of piss remains. The dinner was really good. This is the last little bit I will tell you about. Um, the the game was obviously a bit of a blowout, but yep. the atmosphere was fantastic. Robbie Williams was fantastic. Go Cats! Um, Nelson. Awesome. And Delta, Delta, <laughs> Delta, <laughs> good drum. Um, Delta, Delta, was, Delta <laughs> was really good as well. Um, Joel Selwood, fantastic, and I must say, Dan, R- Dane Rampy's, uh, his speech is the vi- he's the captain, one of the co-captains for Sydney. He gets mm-hmm. up and said a few words. It's by far the best losing grand final speech I've ever heard. Period. Yeah. Um, do yourself a favor. Very respectful. Very good man. Gained a lot of respect for him. The dinner was really fun. Um, a lot of good speakers we had. The two boys who had cancer, so Ben Cunnington and Sam Doherty got up and spoke. Oh, yeah. That's they cool. were fantastic. Lucky Neil was there, taking pot shots at uh, Mark Murphy. There was a fair bit of banter going on, which I, which I really enjoyed. And we were fortunate enough to be sat next to two boys who live in Perth. Um, and they're actually cousins of Mitch Duncan, who oh. is a Geelong player. So Aye. they were really good fun as well. Hell so that yeah. was fantastic to be part of. Um, and they was everyone that we sort of sat with at the dinner was all within the same row or two as us at the grand final as well, which oh I thought was funny. Cool. So we all got to see him like pretty oh. dishevelled after a <laughs> big, big night of like just drink as much and everything that you possibly yeah, can. That's cool. Um, but no, it was a great trip. I'll definitely recommend doing it if you are ever thinking about going to the grand final. Um, I'll probably, we well, might be going. We'll still again next year. Up the Hell pies. Yeah. Up the pies. <laughs> 
right, boys. There's been some controversy in the news about a local... Controversy! We love about, it. About a local restaurant. So I'm not sure... I don't know if it was the Perth one, but it's about Karen's Diner. Okay. They've come under some hate. What's, What's Karen's, Karen's Diner? Diner. So Karen's Diner is basically an interactive restaurant where the waiters are rude to you. That's like the whole thing. Okay. You go in, um, the, ra- the waiters like, I don't know, say mean stuff to you. They give you attitude. It's like... Basically, like an anti-restaurant. For example, experience. you ask for a tomato sauce, they say, "Fucking get it yourself." Yeah. It's Do all they then get you the tomato sauce? Yeah, I think, they I are. think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all it's like because like it's fun. It's funny to abuse someone, but to then just like I think not the listen. actions are all hospi- hospital uh, have hospitality, but like the words they say and the way they do it isn't. Yeah, okay. and part part of the thing is like everyone there knows that's what it is and everyone's sort of like in on yeah, the joke okay you go there you get what you expect yeah it's like a novelty thing it's like oh yeah this would be a fun thing to go to the way i'm sure the way staff love it they get to you know say whatever the f- what the hell they feel like yeah but do they get to say oops <laughs> not the old mic <laughs> <coughs> but do they get to say whatever they like Ooh. they've come under fire because a customer was left in tears <sighs> after one of the way staff called her and this is a direct quote. I'm not using these words. <laughs> Called her a filthy wranger. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Because no. just before That's we start, not what I read. Before, <laughs> we hit, before we hit record, Joe was going off. He goes, fair, fair enough too. <laughs> She's fucking minging. Oh. Jeez, I did not say that. <laughs> Define <laughs> minging. <laughs> this is not true. Anyway, but yeah, it it and it's led it's led to a lot of a lot of um, controversy about it. Some people are like, yeah, like cheers. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, was that you? That was you. Was <laughs> no, I think it was you in the comments. Some people are saying like, "Hey, you've gone to the diner. Yeah, they've been being rude. Yeah, to what you signed up for. Yeah, and the truth hurts sometimes, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> and you got to, you know, sometimes like, yeah, they're saying mean stuff. That's the whole, the whole thing. And then yeah. other people are saying, this is too far. <laughs> you can't <laughs> insult <laughs> someone at the place where you go to be insulted. Hmm. But they're saying, you know, that's pushing it too far. But I don't know. I feel like... What do we think, boys? Too is far or not too far? Is it the actual insult that was too far? Yes. Was it too close to home? Is that why it was painful? Yeah, it's like... Say say if someone went in and they were like... I guess it's, it's like, where do you draw the line? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, if I'm someone uh, was like... I have an opinion on where you draw the line. Go on. I think... I reckon they've crossed the line. You do? <laughs> I do. That's I think <laughs> Where do you draw the line? All the video. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. All, <laughs> all the videos I've seen, in the example I gave, is basically like, oh, fucking get it yourself. Like, don't don't be lazy. Don't be this. Like, they keep it very vague. objective. This is a. Per- I feel like it's a bit of a personal attack. I feel, like, but it'd also be hard on <laughs> the wait staff because obviously this kind of acting is improvisation. Yeah. Which is hard to think on the spot. So when you think of something, you say it. Yeah. And then you deal with the ramifications when yeah. they say yes and. Say first, think later. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So when you see a filthy ranger strolling <laughs> up into your club. So I reckon, sh- yeah, like filthy ranger. Well, oh, it's like on the lines of being, if you said that about uh, a different feature of someone's body, you could, like, you can't be really say like, you're fat, see? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like just because someone's bigger, like that's, that's you can't say that, but why can you say it about someone's hair? That's the thing. It's like one of those things where it's a very fine line. Like, say if I went in and someone called me like four, we four no. eyes or something. Oh, I'd cry. Yeah, I, I would break their nose. <laughs> <laughs> <This one. laughs> How dare you? Should <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting, getting mad just thinking about it? <laughs> but yeah, it's like, it's one of those things where, yeah, it is. It's, it's like, yeah, like there's just things that people might get, you know, offended. Offended about like your you know your middle toe is bigger than your thumb. Oh your yeah, thumb yeah, yeah. Toe. fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> if they said that, firstly you'd be like, <laughs> damn, how did they even know? <laughs> 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 they must have my own leaf hands. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's also <laughs> like, <sighs> can you get mad at the restaurant because it is the whole thing? Uh, yeah, well that that's the thing. I feel like once they, you either have to have a, you have to, it's 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 classic. It's classic biomechanic. It's it's they're not biomechanic. <laughs> it's classic, classic sports like. <laughs> Sport physiology. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's the all or none principle. Oh, what boys. was that word? Sports <laughs> physiology. <laughs> That's not it's a the word. all or none principle. Either you say everything and you get away with it, or you don't say anything. Yeah. 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 Surely, like racial stuff, they're not allowed to run with. But how come you're? Oh, you how come you're not allowed to say? It? <laughs> but like the same, you could say the same in the fact that the color of someone's skin or their ethnicity. You can't change that. You can't change the color of your yeah. hair. If it was blonde, if she was yeah, blonde. Yeah, I was literally just about to say, if someone was like, can I get... dumb blonde. Uh, say if they were like, can I get something, they like said it wrong or whatever. And they're yeah. like, oh, you're dumb blonde. I reckon that's play play on. 
you're not a blonde though. You can't. Like, you can't it's decide. Right. Yeah, what did they say? You brunette, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's by <laughs> on. Well, that's oh the thing. It's goodness. also a case by case basis. I'm sure they've said things like that before. It is the actual appeal of the restaurant does not. Um, it doesn't interest me b- at all. But this yeah. week we thought we would ask in light ask. of this very story, Karen's diner. Do you like the concept or do you hate the concept? All, all of us. What are we thinking, Riley? I like it. <laughs> Do you like it? I, like I, the, I the hate it. I think it's crap. I would say I'm a... I would hate it. I would say if it was like a pop-up for like Fringe or something. Like okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's this an is exhibition. A, yeah, like this is an art thing and we're yep. doing it as a performance. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's interesting. But it's just like a restaurant. Like who would go... Like I like it. It's, it's fun to go maybe... Have you been? Is there one in Perth? It's thinking outside the box. It's... Doing dinner with a difference. Yeah, it's interesting. If you ever want to get abused while you're chewing, just hit me up. I'll, <laughs> I'm yeah. happy to make that happen. Um, 73% of people said that they hate it, and 27% of people said that they rate it. I wonder I wonder mm. who's been there out of that. That's a good question. Is the hate it people all red haired? No, they're not. There's quite a list, including myself. I When I go to a restaurant, like... If the waiters are like chatting normal, I'm like, hey, this is a bit much. I'm trying to eat, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to be hounded, especially because you're paying good money. I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just, you don't want to be hounded at the best of times, do you? No, I don't think so. Anyway, we asked the people of Perth what they thought, and they've pung in a fair few little good answers. Yes. Joey, what have we got? So we've got one coming in from uh, Mum. She thinks it's funny. <laughs> she says that they're probably just saying what other hospitality workers think. Exactly. So that's Which where <laughs> I personally think mum finds it funny to be on the sending end, but if she was on the receiving end, I reckon she'd <laughs> oh walk yeah. out. We, go, we should go. We should she go. would she'd, hate she'd it. She'd laugh yeah. and then walk out. She'd be like, fuck that. She'd start <laughs> throwing <laughs> chips at people, I reckon. What'd you say? <laughs> 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 what, what did you say to me? Like, come away. Yeah. Um, uh, other one said, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that came in from Emma Gilfoyle. She said, dining's supposed to be comfortable and stress-free. Karen's diner is an anxiety overload. That's fair enough. That's also, that. we got a... That was from uh, Emma... Yeah, Emma I know, but like, who said the dining's supposed to be stress-free? Oh. Back in the day, it used to be hunters and gatherers. You used to eat and you had to <laughs> be watching your back. <laughs> I think we've, we've also got... Uh, evolved from that. Yeah, Olivia, similar vein. She goes, I'd hate it. They'd start to cry. I yeah. like Bojana. Bojana said it's so Gen Z. Really? I feel <laughs> like it's more millennial. No, but it's a Gen Z joke because we're joking on Karen's. Yeah, you guys wouldn't get it because you're not Gen Z. <laughs> I am Gen Z. But Jake wouldn't get it because he's, he's not Gen Z. Z. He's I a think baby. Jake also is actually Gen Z. Jake's a baby boomer. I don't know. My but favorite, my favorite of the bunch was Kobe, who said he would take offense and he'd just kick their heads in, <laughs> which is probably <laughs> the same boat that I'd fall into. Because if someone had a crack at me, I would have a crack back, and then we just get, I don't know. It's a bit awkward when they're getting paid to abuse me, and I'm just I'm doing, doing it for fun because <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Boys, you know what was on Sunday? No, what was on Sunday? The classic festival we've been talking about quite frequently on this show for the past few weeks. Listen out. No, not listen out. My <laughs> nemesis. Joe, did you attend? <laughs> no, I didn't attend because then I wouldn't be able to sue him. <laughs> I <laughs> got that on the Fuckers. record. <laughs> <laughs> got that on the record. He didn't attend, all right? I it chose. I did choose to go. Thus, vo- uh, what's the word? Voiding. Voiding my sewage. Yeah, it looked fun. <laughs> I would have loved to have been there. Yeah. But the sewage at the festival was good. Um, yeah, obviously, was, no, heaps of it. it starts at, the festival opens 12 a.m., yep. p.m., p.m., p.m. So that Lunch means time. beers start at 9. Yes. Yep. That's the rule. Party bus comes at 11. Let's get it going, right? So I wake up, get my boy Tesserino to pick me up. What and time take were me you getting Were you guys very early? Yeah. Yeah, we booked the party bus too late. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we got there at 12. Yeah, because we're going to say. We stayed for the whole thing. 10 hours. Yeah, usually people don't get there until, like, you know, the main acts get on. So, do you get the key to unlock the premises? Uh, <laughs> no, but do you have a chat to some of Joe's mates? It there? was good. We were walking through and it wasn't too busy yet. It was fun to watch the watch yeah. the, watch the the people. Some of the acts that hadn't pulled out were still there. Exactly, <laughs> yes. That is it. Still performing, yeah. Uh, <laughs> did they ask you to get up there? Surely by that point they were pretty desperate. We walked in and then two more people cancelled as well. But we'll get we'll get to that soon. <laughs> so, obviously, pre is 9 a.m. You know, I was thinking, I like woke up and I didn't have a ride to the pre's yet. And I was messaging my boy Tesserino and I called Tesserino. I was like, Tesserino, how are you getting to the pre's? And Tesserino was like, mate, I'm driving. And I was like, Tesserino, come pick me up. And I was like, cool, but I've got to have a feed before we go. So What'd I you go for? 
a very small slice of Vegemite on toast. Oh, well, a gentleman's not meal. <laughs> it actually seemed to be quite enough there. But I don't know if the other boys even had uh, any thought process of breakfast, which didn't seem like they did. As we go to the pre's, the boys get on the beers, you know how we go. Yeah. Many, many drinks. And um, and then we get on the party bus. And we had this sick party bus driver, Kiwi bloke, and we're all sitting on the back. Have you met a Kiwi bloke you haven't met, you haven't liked? <laughs> um... That's a fantastic point. Yeah. I'm yet to meet one. <laughs> I'm yet to meet a Kiwi bloke I don't <laughs> like. I'm yet to meet a Kiwi bloke. <laughs> Man, I love them. I love them. Yeah, they all hang out at my, my oval because they all play rugby down there. They're all fucking oh, yeah. Yeah, legends. There's there this kid there, just quickly. There was this kid there. He would have been <laughs> about six, right? Yeah. And he's like the ball boy. Uh-huh. He's got the world's longest mullet I've ever seen. Like This kid <laughs> must have been boy. growing it since birth. And he's running around chasing oh, yeah, these man. balls. The balls are nearly bigger than him. And he just looked at me because I grabbed the ball at one point and just <laughs> sort of kicked. <laughs> Why are you there? You're playing. No, I was standing behind the goals. Dummy half. <laughs> I was just standing behind <laughs> yeah. the goals. And they kick him through, right? And I just sort of grabbed it and kicked it back to this boy. Yeah. And and this kid just picked up the ball six. He just went, <laughs> and I was like, you, fuck, you get it, don't yeah. you, bro? <laughs> just like a little quasi shuckers. And um, yeah, so we get on the party bus, and <laughs> I walk in pretty early. We're trying to fill up the back, all the boys. And um, I walk in. I've got a bum bag on, double black in one of the bum bags, double black in the back pocket of the jeans. Shirt's hanging over it. You can't see that shit, you know, unless I'm getting frisked. And um, Eddie walks in, but Eddie has four, and he's just got. Skin tight shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> so he's tucking them under all his every crevice he can. <laughs> That's and imaginative. It, it, and I walk in first day. Oh, get out, mate. He's like, "Hey, bro, how you going, Nick?" And then I. That's another good point. They're the world's. They're usually quite large people, <laughs> but their voices are so like beautifully <laughs> yeah, high. Yeah. Yeah, true. You imagine it's this so bloke's going to be like quite. And then yeah. you speak to him and they're like, hey, bro, what's going on? And you're <laughs> like, oh my God, what happened to you? And then, um, yeah, so Eddie gets on second and Eddie gives the guy a, a nod as well. At this point, Eddie had had 12 standards. <laughs> <laughs> so it was more of a bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. And at praise as well, I saw Colby walking around with a full bottle of Shiraz. And I was like, mate. And then he knocked. <laughs> he was like, you want some? I was like, nah, I'll stick to the double blacks. Brecky wine. And yeah. then he was like... Why not? And then I saw him... <laughs> Medieval days. I saw him like finish the bottle and I was like, mate, how many standards are in that? Because like wine's strong. And he was like, eight. And yeah. I was like, fuck. And he was like, I had three beers before. Oh bro. my God. <laughs> and he was like, I'm going to get another now and then cracked a single fin in front of me. And I was like, Jeez. go Cobby. Cobby's on 12 as well and there's about a 100 kilo <laughs> weight difference between Cobby wow. and me. Wine's like, you have like two big glasses of wine. Yeah, pretty like, <laughs> man, I'm really like fucking buzz right now. Yeah, you know the boys, they fucking, they send it. And yeah, fuck it. A few other boys were also, as predicted, sending it. And um, so <laughs> we, get, we get on the bus and Eddie's walking in with the 18 double blacks under his arm. 18? <laughs> no, no f- four. That, that oh, was okay. an exaggeration for a comedy joke. <laughs> and uh, yes, hyperbole is what we call it in the game. <laughs> and he walked down the bus and obviously one of the cans fell out of one of the <laughs> crevices. But obviously bending down would be... It would, be it would make him <laughs> guilty. You gotta leave <laughs> it. would be like, where did that come from? He just pretended to go so he just w- kept walking, got to the back of the bus and was like, shit, don't look back. <laughs> and all the boys were sitting there like, Eddie, we just watched it. And the bus driver was like leaning over. He's like... You just saw you lay on. like, hey, bro. You dropped your double black. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it? No, he didn't, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that. But he was like, "You're not hiding it very well, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Did he yell at him to take it? Like, no, no, no. He's just like, yeah. you know, like, it's up Party to the losses are the wild way. It's up to the patrons to decide whether or not because, like, you drink, you basically, if you spill it, two hundred bucks. It's your fucking. Oh, problem. Okay, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I think it was might be his problem after we get off there. Anyway. So just before we take off, he plays the thing over the speaker that says, uh, it's illegal to drink <laughs> on the bus, you know. Oh, it's a pre-recorded thing. Yeah, now it is. He, his voice must get tired from screaming. And yeah. um, anyway, and it's like, yeah, so if the cops pull us over, they have every right to come on the bus and then check every person's because it's not a, um, what do you call it? Like, you can't drink on the bus. Yeah, it's not private property. Yes. And um, so then we were like, yeah, sure, man. <laughs> you know, it's always just like, we'll take that risk. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's your bus license, and buddy. And then, <laughs> and then the thing turns off, and the bus driver yells out while everyone's quiet. He's like, "All right, no pee stops, no vomit stops. I got three bags up here. Wow. <laughs> and we've got that. an hour drive to Joondalup. <laughs> <laughs> what the 
Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna <laughs> fucking need it, bro. I, I like Three it. bags between the lot of you. <laughs> How big are these bags? Like the little vomit gonna, bags. So they're not like I'm imagining. You need like three f- big black garbage yeah. bags. <laughs> yeah. oh, how many people are gonna be on the bus? Fifty. Uh, three. 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 I'll go <laughs> three bags. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they have too many bags, then they're not gonna get the bond. So they. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's strategic. So and then the. It's hardly worth mentioning. Party bus, do you reckon they got a vomit cleaner? Like, have to. They, they got someone like, <laughs> have to. Like someone like, they have to have they, someone on call. Like, they come back after, like, like, listen out or something like that. And they're just like guys in, like, has borderline, yeah, like yeah. scuba gear. <laughs> just like, I'm going it. <laughs> just, and just sliding down. down the vomit in the middle of the. So then, you know, we get on the bus. He says, no piss, no vomit. I look at my mate, Cade. And I'm like, you know, Cade, everyone knows Cade. I've said, luckily. I pissed before we got on this bus, just before. <laughs> so I sh- hopefully we're right. But I haven't vomited yet. <laughs> and then um, I was sensible. I only had like six standards by this point. And then we were driving to sensible. to Joondalup. And about five minutes into the ride, I looked at my dear friend Kobe and I said, I need a pee. <laughs> Holy shit. And Kobe was like, I also need a pee. Holy shit. Sharing a bag. And I was like, f- like what are we going to do? Like, this is fucked. And I was like, Damn, I like, was busting at this point. I was like, oh, this party was just going to be a bit of a shocker for me. I'm just going to have to sit down and kind of hold mm. it in. Because, you know, when you pee, it's like, it's busting, you know? Yeah. And then luckily, 20 minutes in, we're on the freeway. Bus driver pulls over. Pulls over yeah. <laughs> Good man. And he's like, all right, everybody out for the piss. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Th- Did he get out? <laughs> Is that why he, <laughs> he stopped? Know, he bus? took his shit. <laughs> 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 and, um, out for 20 minutes <laughs> and so just before this you know the Eddie's driving the bangers were playing we had some old labyrinth pl- bangers playing nice well, the boys were on Covey was especially on after his 12 standards but he just before he stopped he took a seat which never is a good thing once you have like a lot of standards you take the seat that's usually when you accept it the yeah. Yeah. yeah anyway so I get off the bus I rush off the bus there are chicks and blokes popping squats in the bushes on the edge of the freeway so visual we're letting it fly. Um, yeah, none, so none funny, of the boys like. told me about their two-inch destroyers, but <laughs> 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 we know about them now. <laughs> anyway, we're walking back on the bus. <laughs> uh, I actually got to give credit to my boy Jaden Matson for that joke. He said that to me on the way back in the bus. That yeah. was a good. I one. thought you were gonna give him credit for his good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's> that too. <laughs> anyway, so w- walking back on the bus, and um, Cobby brushes past me. He was still sitting on the bus and he brushes past me as I enter the bus back again. And I look at him and he's got tears falling down his thr- down his face. And I'm like, this can only mean one thing. So I walk up to the place I where really he was s- sitting. Vom. Oh. Projector. On the bus. Everywhere. <laughs> Every fucking where. Over like, not even just the seats he was on. <laughs> the seats in front of him. A spray and pray and pray. This <laughs> was, was while the bus was... Stop, stop. Yeah, so he could have got off, but he chose no. He's, he's <laughs> I will back reside here. Back to <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, yes, Cov Dog, Cov Dog took the bomb. Was there windows? Ah, uh, they don't open, okay. not legal. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen we on actually had a um, obviously, because you're not allowed um to be seen with the ca- like, if you leave a can on the bus, you also lose your bond. So, yep. you've got to take the cans off. Yeah, yep. and the fire escape was o- we. For open the fire escape oh, though. That was kind man. of our <laughs> <laughs> kind of our ditchy spot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, garbage to the Just for the car behind. Yeah, because yeah, I've cans seen. Just oh, fly yeah. off the back. Anyway, and um, then Goffy Goff Dog, also who he's the man who drinks a lot of vodka. I've mentioned him on the show before. He also was drinking a lot of vodka, and he leaned over the side of the bus. You know, how, like they got side seats. And then yeah. the back seat, and they're yeah. like flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So open up the dance floor a little bit. Goffy was leaning over there and <laughs> 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 over there. Anyway, I don't think everyone like knew on the bus as well. Yeah, like just like <laughs> in what? the you know like the section vomit. between seats and car. Yeah. yeah, that's where he was. His we vomit and was slushing around. Oh slushing around. <laughs> so on far. Like <laughs> <laughs> At least at that point, the bond's gone. Like you can do whatever <laughs> the fuck you want. Yeah, exactly. Things, <laughs> I'm doing a piss on this. They need to be like. The bond comes in like tears of like yeah. how fucked it is. Yeah, I've I've been on party buses. I th- I don't know where we were going to <laughs> like a. <laughs> that's what I'd say to the driver at this point. Like we all get back on. He goes, all right, no more stops, right, mate? That's not gonna be yeah. an issue. We're just <laughs> like, we're just doing it back here, like, man. Even it's like, <laughs> we're just gonna do it back here. <laughs> you're like, what's the bond like? Two hundred bucks. And Between how many people are on? Yeah, fifty. 
Yeah, man. Bro, Everyone's four dollars. Yeah, just oh, to yeah. piss and <laughs> shit wherever you want. <laughs> to take a dump on a bus. <laughs> it's so <laughs> worth it. Um, well, I've yeah. been on party buses going to like I don't even I don't know if it was listen out. It was like something f- we were going past the city, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like the windows are like kind of like tinted and shit. Like you can't really see out <laughs> that all that good. Yeah. And one of my mates, I won't name him because it was like. A felony or whatever, but hey, he um <laughs> he's like pissed out the window. Yeah, I was like, gonna say I've had a mate do that. <laughs> but like doing it on doing it on the freeway is like one thing because it's like you know you're on the freeway. It's like there's like it's quick. Yeah, it's blur. and you just. <laughs> <laughs> but this is like is that Kevin Ossie. Was, what's that? He was I like, I need to go. And told and he's like food, yeah, food. It was like in the freeway. Oh, no, it was it wasn't. In it's in the city. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. told us. Basically, you you walk. I think we just jumped at a light. It's funny. Oh yeah, people were like walking on the street, and they just see like just complete package, and, and it's just like basically <laughs> using it as the street as your urinal. It's I the guess. two inch destroyer out the window. Anyway, yeah. Well, what is that little? But thing? then, uh, so those boys kind of you know you vomit, you feel better after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there was one man who didn't quite feel better after his vomit, and that was. Um, Jaden Maraska. Mazzarino. Maz. Mazzarino. Mazzarino, he doesn't ever get too drunk. I've never seen him be like... Wait, was Maz the one drinking the wine? Maz no. is the red shirt man from my Instagram story. Wasn't drinking oh, the he wine. wasn't drinking the wine. No, no, no. That's that's Cobb Dog. Anyway, so but Mazzarino never gets too drunk. He's always quite a sensible man. Always usually leaves the club around midnight. You know, yep, he's yeah. never out too late. With never three birds with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know Maz. He's never like, you know, he's never <laughs> one of those guys. But this time he kind of sat down in the, in the corner of the bus and he kind of called it quits. And he leaned his, <laughs> 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 leaned his chin over the, over the edge of the seat and that was kind of the place where he sat for the rest of the, for the, rest of the ride, just slowly letting vomit pour out, his, pour out of his hole. That's a sight. And obviously all of us boys, were, we were getting around and we were like, yes, Mozza, you fucking legend. <laughs> what a day we're having. Yes. We're this two hours in now. Yeah, we still got 10 more hours of this fun. <laughs> oh my Let's freaking go, Mark. <laughs> it's just the beginning, brother, you know. Anyway, so we... ten. Yeah, so... <laughs> he's kind of looking like Weekend at Bernie's kind of yeah. go. And, um, yeah, then we get off the bus and me and Kobe see one of the security guards standing on one of the fences. And Kobe's like, let's go get a photo with that guy. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, classic. All right, let's go. So we got a photo with him. He didn't look too stoked, but we got it. Uh-huh. And then by the time we turned around, everyone had left. You know, everyone got off the bus and went to the doors to get in the cl- get into the place. And um, so I started walking with Kobe. We, you know, forget about the bus. We're walking straight to the event. And luckily, I turned back around because I saw <laughs> Mazzarino just kind of walking in circles <laughs> <laughs> right next to the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and that cunt is Italian, <laughs> so he's quite he's quite tan. This man was whiter than my butt crack. <laughs> not even gonna lie, he was very he was a white <laughs> man. And I turned around and I saw Mozzarino walking in circles, and I thought this is perfect time to get my camera out. So I started filming him. I filmed every every movie made. The cheeky dog. Anyway, <laughs> I'm walking around. I'm circling him with the camera. <laughs> Is he like, you know, like you're rowing a boat and we got one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's just going like around. <laughs> to find and his I, was, bearings. I was videoing him and I was singing, We you like to drink with my dog. <laughs> and he, it was just me and him. And he was just kind of like walking around, like head down. And he's kind of <laughs> like, <laughs> just oh letting saliva out of his mouth oh just slowly. What a catch. And um, I don't think he'll remember any of this, to be honest. And then I was doing the video, circling him. And then people, there was like thousands of people walking in, walking <laughs> past us. And everyone was just, everyone, this one guy was like, that guy! <laughs> 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 and I was like, that guy is <laughs> Anyway, and which one? Oh, the one chasing his <laughs> tail <laughs> over there. The one chasing his tail. He looks hammered, man. Oh, he's stuck in a loop. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gif. <laughs> so I grab, I grab Moz by the shoulders and I start pushing him in the general direction. And I'm like, come on, mate. Don't be silly. We're getting in. Anyway, so. not even in, listen out this <laughs> no, no, we're just on the curve. on the <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so then we yeah, get him. He's get him. like, why did the bus park so <laughs> far away? <laughs> <laughs> so I, t- I take him to like the general direction of where we go, where we're heading, and I need to piss again. So I jump down into a bush. I chuck a pee, and I overhear a conversation <laughs> Moz is now having <laughs> with the rest of the group. And he says, "Well, I s- I went up to him. I was giving him a pep talk. I was like, mate, you know, you pay two hundred bucks for this day." You love rap. This yeah. is your place to be, Moz. Like you're on it. It's, it's g- nothing could be better than right now. 
And Moz was like, <laughs> Moz was like, Moz was like, uh, 10 minutes, I'll be cruising. <laughs> and I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> Usually takes a little bit longer than that. Anyway, and then I went down to piss. I think after my gusto left his area, he said to the, I heard, overheard him say to the rest of the boys, I think I need to go home. <laughs> <laughs> and I came up this hill and I was like, well, that's not happening. <laughs> We're heading straight in. Anyway, I don't know how he got past the first lot of security guards, but we got in. All of us got in. And um, obviously, me and Kobe leading the pack, and we were like, right, first stop, let's go get drinks. You know, when I fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> so we walk over to get some drinks. Everyone double parks. Um, then there's a little grass area, like right next to where the drinks are. We see a few of our mates. Moz is kind of just lingering behind. <laughs> and obviously, there's like a lot of security at these kind of events. Yeah. And I think they're kind of just like looking out to see you know, who's, who's doing 360s. Who's not behaving and who's fucking fucked. And I think they flagged him. <laughs> 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 As he was walking in circles, slowly following the group. And, um, and then, yeah, we, we all ordered our drinks. <laughs> I don't even know where he was. I think he was following us. Maybe he just got to us after we ordered the drinks. And then we got all our drinks, walked to the little grass area, saw a few friends. And then um, Mazzarino decided, you know, no, now's the time to take a seat. <laughs> and as he took, he has his butt cheeks touched the ground, two security guards instantly grabbed him by the oh. arms and, mon- and walked the man out of, out of, out of, out of listen out. Oh. And that was the end of Moz from what I heard. But then um, we talk- I was on the phone with him last night, a few nights after the, the, after the festival. And it was kind of like, I don't know, it was pretty bad of us because none of us like followed him out. Or, so like, they just kicked him out? Yeah. They didn't take him to the med tent or anything like that? Well, I don't know and he doesn't know. How either. did he get home? Well, uh, I'll t- I'm about to tell you, Joey. Cool. Uh, so, Mozzarino, he, he got out and it was pretty bad by us to be like, not follow him out or not lend him any more assistance. Yeah. yeah. And um, so, we kind of <laughs> just forgot about him, you know? The party's still going. We're still worrying about Eddie and Cove Dog. Anyway, so we, we head on to go see... A man central street, which I'll tell you about later on in the episode. But um, so Moz, yeah, so M- Moz goes out, and I'm on the phone with him yesterday. I'm like, Moz, what happened after we lost you, mate? What what, what went on? And he was like, All right, well, according to your Instagram story, <laughs> I got kicked out at 1:30 p.m. My order, my Uber came at 2:30 p.m. So I don't know what I did for that hour, <laughs> 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 which I was kicked out of the festival. But he got home and he sent me a video of his cameras <laughs> at the front of his house and his parents coming and grabbing him out of the Uber. But I love Mozzarina and I- his dad. And then Moz, Moz slept for the next 17 hours. Wow. So what time have you gotten home? Like four. Yeah, like 3.34. So I messaged funny, just to be that fucked. I, I messaged Moz. He replied the next morning. He was like, I've been asleep for the last 17 hours. That's impressive. I've had a great time. And he said, Dad woke me up this morning, walked in uh, by walking into my room, swinging the door open, turning the light and going, are the MacPack boys going to be chatting about this? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, boys, as you would have noticed, the AFL season has come to an end. Oh, no! That means the MacPack footy chat season has come to an end. Almost, one more. Almost. So we've now decided, after we've had a few messages via Instagram, to go, hey, boys, do you remember all those predictions that you made about the AFL uh, way back in March? The 11th of March, episode 76? Is yeah. that what you're referring <laughs> That's to? That's the one. Not many of them came true, boys. So um, oh, we wow. thought we would quickly go through the archives and just give you a little bit of a taste as to what we thought versus what actually occurred. Can anyone remember here who we predicted to win the Brownlow medal in 2022? I think I said Toby Green if he didn't get suspended. Okay. I edited these, so I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's find out. And I overheard that the brown line. <laughs> Toby Green from GWS to win the oh, round. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Jake, who you got? Um, Jack Steele. Steely boy. Oh, Steelo. Guess who I got? Who's Jack? Hang on. Who does Jack Steele play for? Joe? <laughs> An interstate team. <laughs> Come on, just line. throw one out there. Just just the line. Line. <laughs> nah. I'm going to say St. Gilbert. No. Yeah, Joe yes, got it. Yes, Joe yes, got it. Yes, Let's go. Let's go. Guess who I got, boys? Um, not sure. Luke Jackson. I hope he does. Bloke Watch is a this space. Bloke is a genuine gem. <laughs> Lukey Jacks. That was <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> How many <laughs> votes did he, did he get? Your votes for the Brownlow. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, must have got a couple. Yeah, I actually Mel- don't Mel- know. Mel- pretty question stacked, without answer. Though. Yeah, it's hard. Toby to, Green. Hard to get votes. I don't know if Toby got any votes. I oh, didn't even play this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> 
<laughs> not many games. All right, so we went 0 of 3 there. Fuck. So not a bad little play. And it's also, Jack Steele had a great, really hot start to the season. Yeah, I would not be able to guess. And then he got injured. Killed, I think. He got quite, <laughs> he got quite, quite injured. Yeah, if I asked yeah, you... That was a good guess, though. If, yeah. I asked you, <laughs> if I asked you two minutes ago, who does Jack Steele play for? I reckon yeah, who the got fuck it, is that? I reckon he would have got it wrong. Yeah, NBA? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we asked, who will win the wooden spoon for 2022? Next one, we got Wooden Spooners. That's the worst team. <laughs> and it'll be North Melbourne yet again. North. Fremantle Dockers. Nah, 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 nah. nah you nah. serious? Nah, I got no clue. Yeah, North East. <laughs> <laughs> North <laughs> Did you genuinely think the Ducks are going to take the The amount of footy I watch in the summer is slim. I had no there's idea. No, there's no, there's no game. Exactly. Exactly. Footy on I had summer. no idea how well anyone was going to be doing. So I just went classic flag mantle. And it turned out they actually had a pretty good start of the season and almost end. <laughs> they played finals. <laughs> they played yeah. finals. It was probably one of the best seasons they've ever they had. They even won a final. Everyone was so... I remember like two weeks in, everyone was like, this is flag mantle. Flag mantle. Yeah. You know what? It's it's funny because they always get when flag mantle is like, you know, the train <laughs> starts going. Everyone's all painted the, you know, everything purple. But you don't get color. to see the repaint. That's never on the news. <laughs> <laughs> and they go back over yeah. it with the normal colours. Back to brown or whatever <laughs> colour the thing is. <laughs> but so North Melbourne, we went three of three on that one. Yes, you guys were. Oh, yeah. Oh. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Two of three, would say. Okay, yeah. fair North enough. Melbourne North Melbourne did come last. Suck, North yeah. Melbourne struggling. But they're getting um, their new coach. <laughs> In theory, <laughs> yeah. We'll, I don't know. We'll see how we go with that. Um, okay, this one was the Premiership. Joe, who wins the Premiership? GWS. Why? Oh, I just think they've got it this year. All right, Riley, who do you got? The Melbourne Demons. Oh, he's Ooh. going back to back. Look, we had Luke Jackson on the podcast. I could sense something in that man. I've <laughs> got these or the dogs. Ooh. Make a decision, you bitch. The dogs, because I think it's hard to repeat. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, <laughs> all, three, all three again. That was they, fool, they looked good at the You were a big start. GWS. You go buy a membership or something. Did they do well last year? They've been good for a while, but never great. Yeah. Like they made a grand final and then just shat the bed. D's got final <laughs> six. Not a bad effort. That's that's. I think go back the GWS top thirty three percent next year though. You reckon GWS next yeah. year? Go Giants. Yeah, right. Um. Yeah. Melbourne did all right. Fell off. They started the season really well and then just mm. fell off late. I think of their last ten games, I think they only won a handful. Yeah. Um, Who'd you go, Jack? I went. Bulldogs, okay. who lost the final out here to Fremantle yep. after being up by like 40 <laughs> fucking points. Yeah. That was arguably the game of the year. I think I mentioned that at the time. Um, just quickly, Luke Jackson. Yes. He's announced he's coming home. <sighs> is he going to Fremantle or is he going to West Coast? Oh. I really, really hope Flag Mantle. Yeah, it's got, it's got to be. I feel like they're like the team. You but know, no yeah. matter what, I'll still be cheering Jacko on. I think part of it for mine now that, now that he said, because he said Fremantle initially and then he said WA, because it won't come down to him. It'll be a uh, Melbourne... Club yeah. based thing to see what oh some okay. assets they can get see in return. So go. I think it's sort of going to be a bit out of his hands. Okay. Fingers crossed he comes to Fremantle. I just think, Fingers yeah, the, I just can't see him in, you know, blue and yellow. I, just, I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like it. Um, I still like him though. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Joe yeah. Jacko. Um, Rising Star. Here we can go. we all predict who we tipped here? I think we can. But yeah. Slick. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay, next one we got Rising Star. Rising Star. Um, I've got. I think we'll I think we might all have the same person. Yeah. Nicholas. Three, two. Okay. Nicholas <laughs> Dacos. Dacos. He's the man. Dacos. Young Messiah. Collingwood. <laughs> he will deliver. <laughs> he will deliver us <laughs> our <laughs> next <laughs> flag. <laughs> to be Is honest, Joe like just talking in the <laughs> background. <laughs> yeah. Can we listen why to that? Let's why was I running this segment? Why <laughs> why let's just let's run it back. So Joe's obviously found. So we've obviously gone through three. Um, segments there three predictions where Joe's gone in pretty blind he's gone like <laughs> a I little said North Melbourne he's had, like GWS people. he's had a little bit of knowledge the whole way through and then this part come up and he goes I've fucking heard of Nick Dacos <laughs> I'm gonna run with this just listen back to this and just listen to what Joe says throughout he just keeps I reckon the whole period he's talking here we go <laughs> love it love it okay next one we got Rising Star Rising Star um, I've got I think <laughs> I think we might all this have the same person yeah Nicholas, Three, two, okay. <laughs> Nicholas Dacos. <laughs> Dacos. He's the man. Dacos. Young Messiah. Listen, listen. Collingwood. <laughs> he, will <deliver laughs> to, he will deliver us our next say. flag. <laughs> we're talking at the end. Shut up. <laughs> 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 don't have to speak. At one point you said Collingwood. That's <laughs> <laughs> Collingwood. <laughs> That's why there's three of us. So we don't have to speak. No, <laughs> Nicholas <laughs> I remember Dacos. when we talked. Collingwood. When we talked about this, I had no idea what Nick Dacos looked like. <laughs> Should have asked Joe. 
But I had a fair idea. But I do, sealed. I do remember talking about how Jake was so adamant on this Mr. Dacos, this N. Dacos that I never heard of. N. Dacos. Three Joe, votes. Joe was pretty adamant that he was. <laughs> You were keen to it, mate. You love a you love a bet. I do. And I remember you were very keen to put. I thought Nick was going to cash on. Nick was a chance to take out the Brownlee. You know, Nick and Jack Crisp um, led Collingwood. Good on him. In the brand <laughs> in the Brownlow count this year. In his first year. <laughs> yeah, I he think he scored more votes in any first. Oh, I beat so many records for first year players. Um, but yes, I did make quite a bit of money on Nick Dacos because throughout the year I just put a lot of money. Just any any spare coins I'd have, I just <laughs> basically push on. Um, these long multis with Nick Dacos being the last leg to win the Rising Star. Okay. And they pay dividends. Yeah, I think he's going to win it. Should we put money? I've had a look at the markets. The markets look good. Mac I'm keen to put some Mac Pack money on. I like dumping yeah. like a heap of money, like 500 bucks on Nick Dacos. From the Mac Pack business fund, is that? Yeah. Are we, do we get a sign off on this? Or? <laughs> you heard it here first. Nick Dacos will be your 2022 Rising Star. Now, he started the season at like four or five bucks. Yep. And you put 500. Oh, I didn't put any money on him at that <laughs> point, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Um, <laughs> he, got into, he, he got into about 250 <coughs> and then into two bucks pretty quick. And that's where I found myself just launching How much did you money. You I made uh, about at least 600 bucks just on Nick Dacos winning the thing, Not too which bad. was handy. But yeah, I, I had a good year on the punt. Good Bring back that. the Mac Pack Malt for next year, I reckon, mm. boys. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in the new studio. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> um, we will be back early next year with some new <laughs> AFL predictions next month. for season 2023. <laughs> All righty, boys, it's time for our favourite weekly segment. It is our only weekly segment. It's time for our... Everyday Hero. Junior Boy, I believe you've got one this Of week. course. Was it listening out? <sighs> On the weekend and met some interesting characters. Nice. Yep. A fair few um, very interesting ones. One very interesting one, just to give you the scope of the kind of people that go to listen out. Um, I was walking through the crowds. I saw this lovely girl I know from work, friend from work. I said, oh, okay, how are you going? Hugged her and then, opened and then left the hug. And I saw her female friend punch this bloke in the nose. Oh, <laughs> right. oh my God. And I was like, oh, that hurt me. Anyway, and then we... And then, you know, they got broken up. He Any context? Obviously, he didn't hit her back. And, um, yes, this guy just got yoked and then took a few steps back. His good friends got in the middle. And then they got broken up. And then we walked over the hill and one of my friends was like, wait a minute, I know that guy. <laughs> 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 so he went and said good day. I wrapped my arm around him and I was like, mate, what's going on? Are you all good? Like, you just got freaking yoked. You all good, man? And then we are just talking about things, having a giggle. And then about five seconds later, I saw in my peripherals this girl coming down, sprinting down back for him. Oh, for twos. And I was like, watch your back, watch your back, watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. And then she went, bang! Cracked Hit him, him again. Cracked him in the back of the head, yeah. And that was, the, it was the loudest punch I've ever heard. Not that I've heard many, but oh my God, that thing rippled. I was any like, that would have hurt. Any context? Like, oh. why? Oh, I didn't get too involved in the situation. And that's why this <laughs> week, she's winning this week's Everyday yeah. Hero. But yeah, so Just there are some up for <laughs> crazy <laughs> characters at these kind of festivals. And I'm sure she's a lovely girl. Just, oh, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. things... I'm less so, but... <laughs> you know, th crazy things happen at this place. I'm sure they're very lovely people. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a catch. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to get on the wrong side, Jakey boy. <laughs> anyway, so then... Uh, so that was kind of like, whoa, whoa. And this was pretty early on <laughs> in the festival. I was like, whoa. All right, this could be happening to me in a few hours. Yeah. You never know. But anyway, uh, so then Central C comes on. Central C, you guys know Central C? No. I was just actually, just before he came on, me and the boys were like, Central C is going to be on in 15 minutes. Let's go get in that mosh pit. I think there was around 32,000 people at this festival. Anyway, so we're walking toward the <laughs> mosh pit, 32,000 people, and we were like, all right, we want to go to the front. And it was well packed. Like yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, imagine the MCG Oval, probably full. Anyway, so I had drinks in my hands, <laughs> drinking them. And, you know, we started to make our way through the back of the mosh. And getting through the back of the mosh, easy. No yep. worries. Uh, but, um, you know, some people do <coughs> have some problems with it. But luckily, there are a fair few people in this mosh that were going, Mac Pack, Mac Pack, Mac Pack. Oh, really? And I was like, oh. They're starting to know the name, you know. I usually get TikTok, but now I'm getting Mac Pack. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, let's freaking go. This usually get TikTok. This is working, anyway. And then so everyone was like, Mac Pack, Mac Pack. I was like, oh, yeah. 
that's me. Anyway, so we kept going, making our way through the moth. Signing autographs. Then we got babies. stuck at one point, lost Kobe, th- but we kept pioneering through. There was four other, so there was six of us in total. Riley, myself, Ryan, <laughs> Cosa, Cade, Cade, Eddie, Big Ed, Goffy, Jacob Goff, and Kobe, Kobe. Anyway, so we'll Do you remember we used to do fake names? <laughs> 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 it's like such a long time ago uh, now. Adelaide. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> do first and last name. <laughs> <laughs> and their home addresses are in the show notes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, so we lost we lost young Kobe, but we kept pioneering through the mosh. And um, we got to a point in the middle where we were like, this is pretty bad. Like, just squishy. Not, like, fun anymore. Yeah, okay. And the the guy <laughs> who was on before was BB No Money, who sings... Oh, yeah, BB. Oh, yeah, Ed, Ed and Man, me. Uh, yeah, so... Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> Sing a bit for yeah, us, Joe. Yeah. Do a bit. Here we go. Goes the the he's like, Ed and Man, me. He sings like... Because when I was going to go to listen, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, I got to yeah. fucking listen to these people's when music. And that was one of the songs there. Oh, here we go. Riley's doing it. Just a little... Anyway. Even I know that song. Yeah. It's banger. I thought it was Usher. Anyway, miss. So then, and then uh, we see a hand lift through the around ten meters away from us in the marsh. Kobe and I look through and I'm like, "That's Kobe!" And Kobe squeezes through to us. How's his knee? He oh yeah, torn ACL, MCL, and PCL. Going in for surgery this weekend. Good luck, Kobe. <laughs> Hopefully, he's listening to this in the recovery room. Anyway, um, yeah, Kobe comes through the marsh and we're like, "Oh, good day, mate. Haven't seen you in like five minutes. Where'd you go?" He's like, "Boys." There's a bit more breathing room <laughs> to the right of this mosh. And it was around 3 p.m. So sun's beaming down on us. Well friggin' hot. And we're in like the point of the mosh where it's like dangerous. And so we slide around to the side. Still very, very dangerous. And the BB No Money was going off. And um, and then he stopped and left the stage. And it comes up on the screen, you know, up next, Central C. And they just play house music. And, um, you know, we're all just chilling, having a good time. And then a fair few people are coming up, squeezing through the mush, going, Mac back, Mac back. And then I'm like, yo. And then they <laughs> saw Kay. Like, are you up on the stage? And I was talking to this guy in the mosh. And then this guy, yeah, this guy was like, Mac back. Oh my God. You and your brothers are so funny. And then they really? saw. Really? Uh, yeah. Saw yeah. Get in the comment <laughs> section, dude. And then they saw Cade and they're like, you're the brother. You're the brother. Nope. And Cade was like, I'm the freaking brother. <laughs> <laughs> the Cade was like, yeah, man. And I was like, yeah, that's my bro. That's my freaking bro. That's my brother. <laughs> anyway. Bit of confusion. Anyway. <laughs> and then, but the mosh was like getting so fucked that there was actually like no music playing. It was just like the, you know, playing a bit of Olivia Rodrigo in the background, like mid set. Yeah. I mean, in between. You're right, the that sets. isn't music. Hey. <laughs> hey. And then, um, but somehow there was still like pushing and shoving in this mosh. People trying to get up. Yeah. Right. People trying to squeeze through. But we noticed a few times that when it went, when it pushed away from us, it was always coming back. Yep. Newton's first law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Yep. And every, it started to push away or push forward. And there was, it started to do that a few times. And we were like, whoa, whoa, like chill. And then there was one time where we pushed forward that much that I was like, uh-oh. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And it came flying back. Like fucking flying back. I'm telling you. <laughs> All my mates weigh around 80 kilos, would be a median. <laughs> and then Eddie, outlier, Settle. 155. Settle. <laughs> <laughs> Settle. We didn't need to do that. <laughs> no, he doesn't he was, he's, proud, he's Big Ed, mate. He's Big Ed. That's what makes him Big Ed. That's he's what makes him such a lovable Ed. character. I love Big Ed. <laughs> Jesus. And <laughs> so this, right, Big Ed, uh, we're standing in like kind of like a, there's two people in front, four people behind. Big Ed is one of the guys in front. Okay. So I'm like, all right, at least I got Big Ed to kind of break the wave, any momentum yeah. coming, right? And as it started coming, I started realizing people are falling. Oh, There are people falling around 10 meters away from me. And I was like, wait a minute, this is reminding me of something from childhood. The domino effect. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? And, we, and I slowly <laughs> saw people fall, 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 fall. <laughs> and then everyone <laughs> fell. Upon <laughs> us, we the domino. <laughs> <laughs> the, luckily, I don't know how, but the people right behind us must have got back. But everyone fell, and we were the last bit of momentum. All the fucking power yep. went through to us, us boys, and we went flying flat <laughs> on our backs, like squashed. And there was a moment where I had around, <laughs> like, I had around, I reckon I had twelve people, 
big people and also like female. Like it was just like everyone. <laughs> Females <laughs> people as well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do that. <laughs> They're the same. On my left leg. Okay. And as they landed, I was like, uh-oh. Like, cause as I started falling back, I got my right leg out and I was like putting my arms out to brace myself. <laughs> and then I was like, why is my left leg not moving? And I looked and I was like, people are already on it. Like it's flat already. And I started flying back, hit the deck so hard. And I look around and I'm like, <coughs> I look up and I just see flat for like 10 meters. And I'm like, I'm not getting up until everyone in front of me gets up. I'm yeah. the last guy. Domino effect. And my, lo- my, Scott. my leg... Right. Beat. was so squished like my you know like my toes i was wearing air forces air force ones <laughs> sponsor me um <laughs> they squ- my toes all five of them squished together like you know how like they fold into yeah, each yeah. other like they fold over each other Like i felt them all smush together on the ground and my knee was like dead ass straight and my ankle was like twisted on a 90 degree angle and i was like oh broken my leg. leg's broken yeah there was like a moment where I was laying and I was laying there for like, like a f- 10 <laughs> seconds, but it felt like an hour. I was like, okay, my leg's broken now. Danger- uh, more dangerous things could be happening. I've got to accept that and move on, you know? Like, yeah. I've got to focus on the next thing. Leg's gone. And then everyone started to stand up. And I stood up and I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> my leg is freaking fle- flexible as fuck. I was like, no way. My leg just got away with no scratches. <laughs> I was so, like, adamant that I was like, okay, my leg's broken. All the boys were cooked. I especially felt bad for Goffy because Goffy fell back on the boys and Cosa was like uh, like sideways to him. So they kind of made like a addition sign. <laughs> so Goffy's back was like <laughs> bent back and then Eddie landed oh. on <laughs> Goffy. <laughs> <laughs> so Goffy's bent, back bent in ways that backs are not meant to bend. <laughs> anyway, so we stood up <coughs> after this. Everyone kind of helped each other up. All these Rams were helping me up and I was like, holy shit, like, it was crazy. I turned around, saw this chick I knew. She was like crying. I was like, oh my God, like this is like so dangerous. So I'm stripping with sweat. Everyone's like so hot. I was like, this is so scary. And the bloke's not even on stage yet. This is bad. Anyway, so we're like, all right, we're going to stay. We're like, yeah, we're fucking going to stay. I was like, can't get much worse than that. But then two songs went on and we were like, all right, no, we need to leave this place. And we were like, I was like, oh, I mean, we've already been through all this. Like, the songs that we know are going to come on soon is only on for like 30 minutes. Like, we've got to stay. And then Big Ed started throwing up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere, like projectile vomiting <laughs> on the people in front of him. <laughs> and I didn't know because Eddie was like five people away from me in the oh line with God. the boys. And I just heard Kobe yell, Eddie's vomiting! <laughs> and I was like, shit. I like grabbed the boys' shoulders. I like, looked over and I just saw him like look up and just go, <laughs> and throw up all down this chick's back and all over her legs and then we were like all right if we're gonna move we're gonna move now so kobe grabbed eddie shoved him turned him around walked him toward the closest direction where she could get out and yelled move 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 and obviously mid-song no one's gonna move everyone's yeah. vibing you're not getting through yeah we're all vibing man and like everyone <laughs> died and everyone vibing. literally risked their life and body for this position in the marsh you're not moving yeah, and then obviously Kobe's got Eddie and he's like move move no one's moving he's like he's gonna fucking vomit on you move <laughs> mate <laughs> Moses <We move>. yeah. <laughs> Moses <laughs> fucking everyone move we started like pushing through this marsh like crazy he was like he's gonna vom he's gonna vom he's gonna vom everyone started moving out of the way it's actually a really good tactic I'm gonna use this place I'm, like, I'm gonna fucking throw up move yeah. everyone will get out of your way <laughs> anyway so we started walking pushing through all these people in a fucking one single single line and we're pushing through someone grabs Cade Cade's right in front of me. Someone grabs Cade and goes, you're from the Mac Pack. And Cade <laughs> goes, I am. And then I walked past <laughs> and they looked at me and they just looked away and I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> I walked to I was like, oh yeah, I, I'm from the Mac Pack, aren't I? And then Cade was like, yeah, I am now. Anyway, so we walked out and then we sat Eddie down. And obviously we're all bung-eyed at this point, <laughs> especially Big Ed. Ed was fucking on on it right still, are we still doing hero is yeah. that still the segment well, no, I'm setting <laughs> this is all setting the scene okay so and it's then like we're there and then so we sat down Eddie on the fence right next to the stage of Central Sea like parallel all we right. sat him down alone on the fence and we were like right we're dying for water we're gonna go get water and we'll bring one back to you and I was like wait one of us should stay with him 
And then all of us turned around and walked away and left Eddie <laughs> there by himself. And obviously, we were just like, fucking, all right, who cares? Anyway, so we walked and Kobe was like, oh, I kind of want to cop a feed. So then, we <laughs> <laughs> so then we copped a feed. I got three water bottles, two for me, one for Big Ed. And then we sat at this place and like just cooling down in the shade. And I was like, boys, we got to get back to Big Ed. And I was like, fuck, boys, I also like really needed, not going to lie, boys, needed a poo. <laughs> Need to do a poo. Anyway, so we sat there for like 20 minutes. Kobe's girlfriend came. We just sat there for 20 minutes while Kobe ate. And then I was like, boys, I need to go shit. And then Jaden, Matt, and Cosmo came with me to go poo. So 30 minutes have passed since we left Eddie, but we had intentions to go back there. Yeah. So I did my big old turd in the disposable <laughs> toilets. Great time to be disposable there. Disposable toilets. And then um, <laughs> dropped the two water bottles I had and they started to roll under the thing. Luckily saved them with the feet, but they definitely got some feces on them. Anyway, wiped them off. Walked back in the general direction of Big Ed to go save him. Yeah. And as we got there, we realised Big Ed was no longer there. We oh had no. to look for Big Ed among a crowd of 32K. Mystery Ed. And we decided that's too hard. Yep. That's We're going to stand on the outskirts of Central Sea and watch him, watch him perform. <laughs> yeah, so we watched him perform. And then, um, <laughs> and then somehow this chick... Walked up to us, grabbed us by the back of the heads and was like... Ed's on stage. Where the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, are you guys she friends with... me. <laughs> are you guys friends with a guy called Big Ed? And we were like, that's a familiar name. And Big Ed came fucking barging through, shit face, dripping with sweat. And was like, boys, where the fuck were you? I just had a massive panic attack. I was oh shitting man. myself for the last 30 it's minutes. So you. I lost every, <laughs> I lost everyone. I was like, no, bro, we're always coming back. We just took a little detour. And then he was like, oh, bro, this chick just saved my life. This chick saw me, like, freaking out, came and sat with me. She also lost her friends. We found her friends. And now he found out. I was like, oh, this girl just saved my life. I'm so grateful for this girl. And I was like, wow, if we didn't have this girl, we could have lost Big Ed. <laughs> he was in a fucking state. Oh, yes. Goodness. And he needed water. And I gave him the water coat and poo. <laughs> <laughs> but go that girl. I so the girl's the everyday hero. I don't know what her name is. <laughs> <laughs> She's That's got to be the longest everyday hero we've had. And the hero was in it for like <laughs> seconds. seconds. <laughs> like yeah. seconds. She and said, Do you know Big Ed? <laughs> you and went, she yeah. was pushed aside. <laughs> <laughs> so Big Ed himself. Yeah, yeah alright. That's fantastic. So um, this week's everyday hero mm -hmm. goes to the lovely lass who was looking out for other people at Listen Out. All right, boys, that just about brings us to the end of another episode of the Knack Pack Podcast. Uh, a bit of a, a bit of a rip snorter. We haven't done a big app in a yes, while. Yes, I know. We've been scraping the bottom of the barrel, but now the barrel is full of so ideas. Enjoy <laughs> that. We also won't be bringing a great deal of our own stories next week because no. next week we are proud to announce that we have a couple of guests joining us. Yes. Who have we got, Ginny Boy? Mate. It's a, my pleasure, our all pleasures, to announce that we're <laughs> getting guests <laughs> from... I'm going to wind this up, boys. We've already gone over time. We're going to wind this up. L so Listen Out is an epic festival, but do you know what's an even better festival, boys? Fucking Seasons. Seasons. And we're getting the boys who yeah. run Seasons on the show. We are. Seasons is on October 22nd, so if you haven't already secured yourself a ticket, make sure that you do so. Yeah. Next week, we have both Jared and Taylor from Seasons and the boys who run Matter at Magnet House on Friday nights joining us here on the podcast to talk about... A whole plethora of stories, I would imagine. Fuck, yes. Many things about last year's seasons, which was a crazy day, yep. which I attended. And yes. told many stories about. So, Riley often brings the stories from the consumer side yep. of things. These boys are going to tell you a fair few from the organiser's th side of you. Um, and not going to lie, just based on a couple of things we've heard, arguably hairier than some of the shit that Riley gets up to. So, <laughs> um, it should be an absolute rip snore of an episode. We can't wait. Yes. Um, until we do this this time next week, stay safe, stay blessed, and always room two. Go give your mama. Huh? It's chuffing out, but not forever. <laughs>